guys uh, welcome back to the channel now I'm really excited to do this little test today uh, if you guys are looking to install an inverter from a battery system to give you mains voltage on your camper or your boat or some kind of recreational vehicle this is the video for you guys I'm going to show you some quite detailed information when I run a test on this setup and show you some things and tell you some things that you may not see on any other YouTube videos so stick around and check this out uh, what I have here is a 1380 watt coffee machine here which is an espresso and this inverter which just arrived directly from China uh, it says 4000 watts on here but it's it's only a 2000 watt continuous power inverter um, I did a lot of research uh, before buying this particular one here uh, I think it should run pretty well, but uh, we're going to go through a whole lot of tests here and it'll give you guys a good idea of what sort of inverter and what sort of size you need to get for something like running a coffee machine or whatever else you want to run on your setup. So stick around and keep watching. Okay, so before I start the test, just a quick rundown of what we have here. We've been building this camper over the last six months or so. Um, I'm going to be loading lots of videos on it and all of the details of the 12 volt solar system in this campus so if you want to see a lot of information on that uh, maybe subscribe um, and come back and check out my channel as I add that information so anyway we have uh, everything's a 12 volt only system on this camper we do not run mains voltage in this camper so that's what we're trying to do here and we're running a 120 amp hour battery here which is a sealed lead acid battery not a lithium battery just an important point to know there so I'm going to talk a lot more detail about that and the types of batteries the size of cables and what you can and can't do here so let's get right into it okay jumping right into it guys first thing I've done here is connected the inverter uh, DC cables to the battery system positive to positive and negative to negative now you must have a very large fuse on this setup uh, this is a 150 amp fuse here on these cables as close as possible to your positive terminal absolutely vital you've got massive current flows that can come from here and if you have a short circuit without fuses you could have a very dangerous situation now uh, one very important side note these cables here are size 2 AWG cables 35 millimeter cross section these are not the cables that were supplied with the inverter from China they supplied I think there was something like about half of this size cable which is not adequate on this cable here we're going to have up to around about 130 amps of power I'm oh, sorry DC current flowing when we do the test in just a minute and you'll see that on the clamp on meter so so as we do this test I am going to be taking multiple measurements using multiple devices one of them is the actually the uh, power uh, flow meter which is directly connected to this battery system and this is just going to tell me what the exact voltage is at any point in time currently the battery is at 100% capacity because it's fully charged and it's just telling me how much uh, current flow and wattage is currently coming from the battery now just mention that I am running the lights in the camper here LED lights so it is using around 13 watts uh, out of the battery right now just on one amp so that's negligible in relation to the test which we're going to run straight off the battery itself so uh, two additional uh, measurements we're going to take on my multimeter I've got this set to capture our min voltage I want to see how much the battery voltage drops when we put the full load of the coffee machine running with this inverter currently sitting at 12.9 volts on the battery also we have a high flow clamp on current meter so that should show us how much current is flowing uh, from the battery through the inverter the 12 volts uh, when the again the coffee machine is running at full power okay so I've now pushed the button on the coffee machine and you'll see that the, is, there is now 116 amps flowing through our DC cable here through to the inverter and you will see what's happened to our voltage on the battery it's dropped to 11 volts according to that but my multimeter says 11.8 volts so of course the uh, coffee machine I guess is running its well obviously it was for a moment running its heater element I see that the um, current flow has now dropped down down to 10 amps again on our clamp on meter 
and the battery voltage has gone back up to 12.6 volts. So we're now more in a standby mode again. So interesting that with this coffee machine, when I initially turned it on, it, it drained virtually full power for about, uh, I would say about 8 or 10 seconds there at least. So now we're going to pop in a um, capsule. We have water in there ready to go. And we are just going to fire away with the coffee machine and see what happens with our if the machine runs for a start and what where our power usage is going to be like so let's go I'm just running a uh, timer as well just so we're timing how long the uh, machine is actually running at this sort of current draw so right now you can see on the clamp on it actually only went to about a hunt oh there we go so it's, it's jumping between 120 odd amps and 10 amps obviously when it's running uh, the heater element here and it actually looks like it has done its thing already which is interesting so the battery voltage uh, let's see what did we get to it looks like the minimum voltage that we got when the uh, system was draining its maximum power was 11.83 volts and I'd forgot to turn the timer off here so we'll do that again that's up to a minute so just again we're still rolling here we're now we've now got our little coffee sitting there uh, it's been made with the capsule and 12.7 volts on the um, the battery so we're back to where we were 222 volts showing on the inverter okay let's do test number two turning on the inverter we've got 12.86 volts on our multimeter here before we start the coffee machine now what we're going to do is I will zoom out a bit here on the coffee machine I've left the same capsule because that doesn't matter and I'm going to run the larger coffee um, button here so I'm going to start the timer and push the button here we go so you can see there that the current flow is jumping up only for short periods of time so you can see it's doing 120 amps for only about two or three seconds at a time I guess that's the uh, heating element turning on and off it's curious that it decides to uh, turn on and off just checking the cables of course and not getting too hot nothing's overheating here that I can see again we got about a 11.84 volts is the uh, minimum voltage on the battery when that uh, was drawing its maximum uh, sorry we're up to one minute now I'm just going to stop that timer and there we go there's our second coffee made so just checking uh, a few readings now on our main battery monitor system on the camper you'll see that the battery still shows as a 99% capacity so that's just after making two coffees so that's about what I'd expect um, we'll talk about the numbers and how much energy as in kilowatt hours this coffee machine actually consumes uh, and relative to this battery I'll put more detail on that in just a minute okay guys now we're going to run a test with the milk frother to make our nice frothy milk to go with our coffee that we've already made in the machine now the mach coffee machine as I say will max at about 1300 watts when it's drawing full power for those brief few seconds each time uh, the milk frother I believe is about 400 watts but we should see that in just a moment so let's power on the inverter again and I've got my multimeter in the background again to see what our Vo max voltage drop uh, does when we run this frother and we will press our start button and press our frother to go boom and there we go the frother is going uh, now let's have a look on the reading here it's 12 volts 
and the multimeter is telling us yeah about 12.4 minimum it's actually reading so far so this and let's have a look at our yep our power consumption so we're looking at about 35 amps this is drawing about 35 amps times 12 volts to give us our power and wattage that this uh, milk frother is using while well, it's doing its frothing in a way it's still going there uh, so what are we saying 35 times let's say 40 amps 40 amps times 12 240 480 so you're talking yeah over 400 watts about 400 and 450 watts I'll put the exact calculation on the screen so that's how much this milk frother there we go so that's finished in just under 60 seconds so we'll do a calculation on that as well how much our milk frother has used in kilowatt hours and energy out of our battery system here again you can see the readings there on our multimeter on the inverter itself that we just looked at and just a quick look up again at our main battery monitor for the campus battery is still sitting at 99 percent so guys just a quick uh, visual here of the display on this inverter one of the reasons i got this particular model was i actually quite like the look of the display options built into this obviously our voltage our uh, sorry our uh, voltage on the battery 12.7 our mains voltage coming out 222 in this case uh, and of course it does display the wattage and even the frequency down here nice little unit I must say overall I'm really impressed with this uh, inverter um, I think we'll probably take it apart shortly as well and have a look inside some really important things to know about also if you're going to buy an inverter okay so one little quick note before we carry on further in the in the video uh, if you uh, want more technical information have a look in the uh, uh, description below and i'll have links to other videos as well uh, please do uh, leave questions and comments below i will reply to people's questions any technical questions let me know i am an electrical engineer by background so i can give you some technical answers as well if you do find this information useful you know click the like button if you can um, and even subscribe and you'll see additional videos coming up on our full 12 volt solar installation in our camper here so uh, keep watching guys okay some real quick numbers before i do more detailed mathematics here to give you an idea if you generate or make sorry one coffee here with your frother the amount of electrical energy in kilowatt hours that you're going to use very approximately would be about the same as us leaving these LED lights on, all of these lights on, in our camper for about one hour. Okay guys, let's talk some mathematical numbers here on running something like a coffee machine off a 120 amp hour battery in your camper. Now there's quite a few numbers on this spreadsheet, I'll leave you to look through it. I'll just talk uh, a very quick summary. So in summary, uh, to make one coffee, um, in these tests used about 13.84 watt hours of energy out of the battery now bearing in mind this battery uh, 120 amp hour battery has probably in the region of 1440 watt hours of energy in there so as you can see here as a percentage the making one coffee is used a very small percentage of the energy in that um, in that battery so I've also put some comparisons here with other devices if you want to have a look at all these numbers down here and, and go through that uh, just to give you an idea of running your camper lights for an hour would be similar to making one coffee the amount of energy used and actually to run a toaster for about a minute similar number to run a, um, a laptop full charge is about using the same energy as, as making two coffees and to run our 70 litre camp fridge which we have in the camper uses about uh, just a little bit over uh, to run that uh, fridge for an hour uses a bit over the amount of energy required to make one coffee so i'll let you look at that in more detail on your own hopefully that's really useful numbers for you and um, yeah give you some ideas on what you need for your setup 
All right, guys, so after that test, would I recommend uh, putting an inverter like this into a camper setup like this? Uh, and in fact, would I recommend this exact particular product here, uh, this brand? Uh, the answer is definitely yes to both. Uh, I'm quite impressed with how well this ran. Uh, and also with our 120 amp SLA battery, this setup just runs fantastically, really. Uh, it worked great with the coffee machine and even with the toaster. So I hope you guys find that really useful and it gives you really good information on making decisions about what you guys want to uh, go out there and use. Thanks for watching guys and um, see you in the next one.